tests out in the Gulf on all of the ship's major systems, including uh, combat, communications, and other aviation capabilities. It is over 800 feet long. Can you believe that? And it is replacing the Tawara class of ships. Now, this is the uh, this is the second Navy ship to come into the port city here in just the past three weeks. Just a few weeks ago, the USS Gravely was here, and it came to Mobile for Mobile's Mardi Gras ship of 2014. And let me tell you, I, I came in on that ship, and they're huge to see when they're coming through the river or even out in the Gulf or the or the bay. But when you get on them, they are even bigger in size. So I can only imagine what this one is like. It's it's like a whole nother city on these ships. So uh, we're going to have uh, much more. Uh, at, at five, we're going to see if we can dig for a few more answers to see exactly why this ship is here in Mobile and how long it will be here for. So we'll have that coming up at five. Reporting now in Mobile. Boston News. Okay, Michael Branham reporting, and we'll look forward to his report Absolutely. later today. In the meantime, a lot of cleanup underway, especially at the Burks Outlet Store in Atmore. A downburst destroyed the business yesterday and heavily damaged Fred Super Dollar. It's next door in the same building. Fox News reporter Steve Alexander says a lot of people were amazed no one was hurt. Insurance adjusters and cleanup crews were out early this morning at Burks Outlet. Bricks were knocked out, a pillar collapsed, and insulation was strewn like paper on nearby trees. Next door, Fred's Super Dollar suffered less damage, but workers in a basket crane had to pull a tarpaulin over part of the roof which had collapsed. Until the bomb dropped the way it now. Larry Pellegrino came to help remove food from Fred's. He says the manager told him yesterday a woman appeared about to enter the store right before that big gust of wind hit. One of the ladies that were going inside the shop, and when she went to go shop, before she shopped, she saw the whole building just collapse. But she said she never heard no noise, but it just collapsed. Natasha Fry works nearby at the Kentucky Fried Chicken Restaurant. Are you surprised to see all this damage? Yes, sir. Should I work right next door on the KFC and our bucket is gone. <laughs> the bucket is gone yeah, from the, the KFC. Bucket is, the bucket is really destroyed off that. Ruby Wells has a daughter who lives in Atmore. She came to the scene amazed at what she saw. Out of the clear blue and, and such damage, my goodness, alive and, the, and what they have inside and the people that wanted to come to work this morning. Everyone seemed to agree this was an unusual sight. What do you think of this? They don't have many Atmore. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of stuff. This is it? God's country. Reporting from Atmore, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. Coming up at 5 p.m., Steve updates us on the story of an elderly man who had a tree fall through the